Hello content creators, welcome back to Creativity Next. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Surfer SEO and the power of ChatGPT to write an SEO optimized blog post for your website or for your blog. All right, so let's start creating our article right here in Surfer SEO. Now, if you've never used Surfer SEO before and you don't know what it is, then I'll leave a link down in the description for a video that I did that's just a quick review of all the things that it can do. It's awesome, it'll probably blow you away. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, as you know, if we're creating an SEO optimized piece of content, then we have to have a target keyword or target keyword phrase picked out already. So I've already done my keyword research and I've come up with the keyword phrase WPX hosting review. So that's going to be the target keyword that we're going to focus on for this particular piece of content. So what you do is you put your target keyword into Surfer SEO. And then what it does is it creates some parameters for us on how we want to do our article. So you can see here that there's a little button here that says content score, okay? So as we write our article, Surfer SEO is gonna determine how well optimized our content is by increasing the Surfer score. So that's something that we're gonna to wanna to pay attention to. Now, if you look down here, it says the average. So the average of the top 10 ranking articles for this keyword, WPX hosting review, averages an 81 surfer score, okay? The top, meaning the best article in the top 10 ranking on Google for WPX hosting review has an 88 uh, surfer score. So usually what I try to do is if I'm really trying to optimize this content, then I wanna make sure that it's better than what the competition is doing. So that's why those numbers are really helpful at a quick glance. Now, the other things it says here is it tells us how many words we want. So we want to have between 2,500 and 2,900 words. We want to have between 20 and 39 different headings. We want to have at least 99 paragraphs, and we want to have between 21 and 76 images. So these are our guidelines that we want to use to create our article. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to come up with a good title for our article. So we're going to go over to ChatGPT, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so here we are. We are in ChatGPT, and we're going to create a title for our blog post. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this prompt, and we're going to drop it in here, telling it exactly what kind of title that we're looking for. Okay, so here's my prompt. Give me some click-worthy titles for a blog post written for the target keyword, WPX Hosting Review. Make sure to use the target keyword in the title, which is a huge thing for SEO, and the title cannot be more than 65 characters long. So we're gonna tell it, go ahead and do that. All right, so as you can see, ChatGPT created some really awesome headlines for us for our article, or titles, I guess, and I like this one, a detailed WPX Hosting Review should you switch today with a question mark? I like that one. So I'm going to jump back over here to Surfer SEO and I'm going to make sure I'm going to go ahead and put our title in and I'm going to change this to an H1 because that is going to be our H1 heading. Now you can see here that the content score has already gone up 20 points by just having the target keyword in the H1 and our H1 set up there. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a detailed outline that will have all the headings and everything that we're going to need for this particular blog post. Now, what you want to do is you want to go down here to headings. Now, Surfer SEO tells you what words you want to include in your headings in order to help your ranking and help your optimization. So it's got those listed here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go over to ChatGPT and I'm going to show you how to request a detailed outline using these terms. All right, so we're back here on ChatGPT. So now we're going to tell it that we need an outline for it to follow in order to write this amazing review article. So as, as everything is using these AI tools, you have to have a good prompt. So I've created a prompt here that I'm gonna give it, and this is gonna tell it exactly what I'm looking for. So it says here, I wanna write an educational and engaging blog post called a detailed WPX hosting review. Should you switch today with a question mark? 
In the article, I want to include a section that highlights any awards that WPX has earned, an FAQ section with answers that may be good candidates for featured snippets, and I want to include all the most important features of WPX. Now, the other thing I added in is, remember when Surfer, it wanted to see certain words in the headings. So I put, please create a detailed outline for this blog post and include the terms hosting services, web hosting, and WordPress site in some of the headings or subheadings. So we're telling them that we want those words to show up in our outline. The audience for this article is people looking for an honest review of WPX hosting. So once we've got that, then we can say, get started and have it write out our outline. So as you can see, what it's doing is it's taking all that data that we gave it and it's creating this really cool outline that then we can use to create our article. All right, so here it is. We've got our uh, outline here. So you can see it's got a nice detailed outline. It's got an introduction. It's got some other headings here. It's got it's telling us what kind of things that we want to include about WPX. Here's our frequently asked questions that we wanted. So we've got that in there. We've got some user experiences with WPX also. So we've got our outline done. So the next thing we need to do is we need to tell ChatGPT uh, exactly what we want it to do with this outline. All right, so before we have ChatGPT write our article, there's one more really important step that we need to take. So if you go in here and you can see under the Surfer SEO page, it's got all of these words and phrases that they want us to include in our article. Now, these phrases and words all come from our competition. So the top 10 articles ranking for WPX uh, hosting review is, are using these words and it tells us how many times we want to use each of these words. So to make this real easy, I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of these. And so just copy those. And then I'm going to include those into my prompt for ChatGPT so that it knows what words to include in the article. This is the key right here to making sure that you get a nice optimized article. So let's go ahead and put our prompt into ChatGPT and see what we get. Okay, so now we want to put our prompt into ChatGPT so it can we can tell it exactly what kind of article and what kind of things we want in our article. So Here's the prompt here. Please use the above outline, that's the one we already created, and write a 3,000 word blog post using all of the headings and subheadings in the above outline. Now, you could put in the word count here. I put 3,000, sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. So don't assume that if you put 3,000, you're gonna get 3,000 words because we're probably not gonna get that many. Now, it is. we did tell it that we wanted to use all the headings and subheadings in the above outline. I want the article to sound human written, be helpful, and in an active voice. So we're telling it what tone of voice we want to write this article. Now, the big part here is we took all of those keywords from the previous page on Surfer SEO, and we want to tell ChatGPT, please use the following keywords in this article content. And I've got all of the keywords that I just pasted in here. Now, let's go ahead and see what kind of article we get. All right, so there's our article. So it took our outline and all of our keywords and it made this article. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just copy this article and let's put it back into Surfer SEO and see how well it did. So we're gonna go here and here. We're gonna just drop it in here. And all right, so you can see now that we already have a 62 content score out of our 100, which is pretty awesome. And it only took us just a few minutes. Now, what we want to do here is it's not recognizing these as headings. So we have to put these in as headings. So let me fix these headings and let's see what our score does after that. All right. So I went ahead and uh, updated the headings. So we're good on the headings now. Now you can see we're already up to a 69 surfer score out of 100. So it hasn't taken us that long. We've gone a little bit slower so I could show you how to do it, but this really only takes a few minutes. And now we've got a good base of an article. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over here to Surfer SEO and we're gonna ask, pretty much ask it what we need to make this article even better. So you can see here that we've our headings is a 20. You can see that right here and it's all green, which means 
our headings are good. We don't need to do anything with the headings. Now we do need to add a few more, um, but according to this, we're doing fine. Our terms and NLP terms, which is these lists of words here, we told it what we wanted and it went ahead and included these in here. So we've got a 24 out of 30 here and we've got a 16 out of 20 here. Now our huge issue looks like the structure of our article, but we already know that. We know that we need more words. We know that we need more headings. We know that we need more paragraphs. And of course we don't have any images. So we just need to fix those things. So. The first thing I'm going to do here to optimize this article is I need to get some more content here. I obviously need a lot more words. So one trick that you can use using ChatGPT is you can just copy some of this and you can ask it to elaborate a little bit more on that. So I'm going to copy this speed and performance and I'm going to go back over here to ChatGPT and I'm going to say, please expand on this content and I'm going to drop it in here and what chat GPT will do is it will take that content and it'll expand on it to give us some more content so what I'm going to do is let me go through this article let me ask chat GPT to expand on this content a little bit and let's see how much we can add to this article all right so what I hit went ahead and did is I just expanded on this content here and as you can see chat GPT does a masterful job of just writing additional content here so we can fill out you know what's going on here so you can see that we now up to 2095 words once we've done that we're getting really close to our our guideline of 2500 to 2900 words all right so sometimes you're in a situation like we are right now where we've got 2095 words but we still need more content so Sometimes you might be sitting there looking at your article thinking, gosh, where can I add some content? So there's a couple of tricks that I like to use when I'm trying to fill up content in an article. And so I've got a couple of prompts that I use all the time that will De generate some pretty detailed information and some good information that will make this post even better. So one of the first posts, one of the first things I've got on here is I will tell ChatGPT, Hold on. Okay, write me a section for my blog post called a detailed WPX hosting review, should you switch today, that highlights the most important things to look for in a web hosting company. So this is gonna create a nice, paragraph that we can add to our content that's also really helpful for the reader. All right, so as you can see here, ChatGPT put together this really nice piece of content here that we can now just copy and drop into our article. All right, so I went ahead and added that piece to the article. So now that gives us another uh, we're about 2,547 words. So we're really close right now on our words. So the other thing I like to do on these articles is to help the user out and to create more content is I ask ChatGPT to, what are some common misconceptions about web hosting companies? Now, it doesn't matter what the, co the content of your article is. It could be about anything. You can always ask about some common misconceptions. It kind of makes uh, for some good content to add. So I'm going to have ChatGPT create that content for us. All right, so there it is. So I'm going to take this piece of content and I'm going to put it into our article. And I think I want to put it down here after all of this. Okay, so now I've got, I've added those pieces of content. It filled in some content gaps that we had in our article, but it also gave the user or the reader some really good information that's gonna help this article. So right now we've added enough content, we need We've got it. We need to add a few more headings, which I can fix. We need to add some paragraphs and we need to add some images. So give me a minute here. Let me work on optimizing this. The first thing I'm going to do is work on the headings and the paragraphs and see if we can get this 75.
Now, what I'm doing is I'm separating out some of these longer paragraphs that have big chunks of text. Google doesn't like that. And people who are reading your article, they don't like that. So they like, they like to see it broken up in really short paragraphs. So I'm doing that right now by spacing out some of this content. And it'll really help our content score. So I fixed the paragraphs now. All right, so now I have to, a couple more things that I have to address, okay? I want to add some more of these NLP terms in here. So if it's right here, we want to make sure that we added it. So if you have any that are zeros on here, like web hosts we haven't used, um, host multiple websites, those aren't used. I'm going to go ahead and drop those in here as well. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I got to add my images, which I'll do at the very end. So let me add some of these NLP words and let's see how much it'll change our score. Okay, so I messed around with this a little bit. I added some more of those NLP words. And now you, let's take a look at our structure. So now we've got an 87 score right now for our content score, which is pretty awesome. I mean, the top person has an 88 score. The average is 81. So we're well above the average. Now, if we look at our structure here, we can see that headings is 20 out of 20. So we can't get any better adding any more headings or changing our headings. The the NLP terms and the terms, we've got a 30 and a 20 there, 30 out of 30, 20 out of 20. We can't do any better there. The only thing we can do is improve our structure, which is obviously going to come from adding our images. So I'm going to take some time. Let me add some images to this and let's see if we can get this thing above the 88. All right, so all I did was I added three images of the recommended 21 to 76 images here. And you can see we're already at a 93 surfer score. So this is telling us right now that this article that we've created is very well optimized for the keyword phrase WPX hosting review. So what I'm going to do just to finish this thing off is I'm going to go ahead and add a few images and just clean this thing up until so that it looks perfect and ready to post on the website. Then I'm going to go ahead and post it on my website. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll take, we'll do a quick review and just see how it does in the rankings and just to see how it performs after we've done this article. So let me clean it up and I'll show you what the final piece looks like. All right, so here is the finished article. So I took some time to further optimize the content, and you can see that we got ourselves a 99 content score out of 100, which is awesome. This is a really well done article that we used, we created with ChatGPT. So my final steps now is I'm going to go through the entire article. I'm going to make sure that all the facts are correct, nothing's made up, there's nothing crazy in there, and I'm going to make sure it's all right. Then I'm going to post it on my website and I'm going to add a couple more things once it's on the website. And then in the link down in the description, I'll put the finished article so you can just go to the link and take a look at it and see. Then we'll get back together in a couple of weeks, maybe maybe two or three weeks and see if we're getting any traction with this article on our site. So I hope this is really helpful. If you have any questions about Surfer SEO or optimizing content or creating content, comment down below. I'll I answer all the comments. Just let me know how I can help you best. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.